thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com, that's our website, NewQBO.com. So you can check it out uh, uh, in all our new articles, and you have all kinds of uh, great tips. So you may want to bookmark this space, NewQBO.com. So in this video, uh, I'm going to discuss inventory valuation, uh, summary and detail reports in QuickBooks Online. Of course, for inventory, you need plus plan, right? So, so in QuickBooks, they have basically uh, those two reports, summary and detail. If you just type inventory in here, you will see, as you can see here, only uh, two reports and one is our worksheet. So inventory valuation, detail report, inventory valuation summary, and when you're time to take physical inventory, then this is the one you want. Physical inventory works. If you want to print this and then uh, do the physical count. We have a separate video for this one. You want to check it out. And after that, it will also show you how to do the consolidation, inventory consolidation. So this video, I'm going to focus on these two. So inventory valuation, here's a summary report. So it will basically give you a summary of all your quantities on hand, inventory quantities on hand. Uh, in right now, they don't give you the total for quantity. So you, you really need the total for quantities as well, you know, but they don't give you that. It's missing in here. So it's missing total quantity. Uh, but they give you a total asset value and average cost per item. So they don't even give you the average for the the whole total uh, inventory would be nice to have that uh, stat. Uh, so at, at this point, you know, th this is what it is. So 341 is your total valuation, right? And in principle, this number, it should match with your uh, uh, inventory asset account that you have on your balance sheet as your, fixed, uh, as your uh, current asset. So if you go to the uh, uh, your balance sheet, and go to inventory asset account as you can see here the total here I have is 341 as of 341 as of August 4th and this valuation report when you run it is also as of uh, same date right August 4th August 4th and the total in here is also the same 341 uh, on the valuation at the bottom you know, you also have the same number, so that means is you know both comes out okay. So if there is a difference, if this number is higher or the other number is higher, it could be due to many factors. You know, uh, so that's why you need to reconcile all these negatives and uh, do the physical inventory and all that good stuff. And now let's move on to the valuation detail report in here. So when you run, it basically give you for the current month. It's like month to date, right? But uh, it will give you a beginning band. That means uh, no transaction for this current month. And if you need to do the uh, see the whole details, you know, at, at the bottom they don't give you total either. So there's no total. There's no 300, uh, 309, 341 number in here. So it'd be nice if they give you, you know, 341 number asset value on the detail report. So they don't have that either. So anyway, uh, and uh, so basically, if you need to, let's say you have something like this, and you know you can click anywhere, you, then you have to change the uh, uh, report period, right? So if you just change this to report period, and let's say all dates, uh, or or you can do it from here too. Actually, you can just select the, uh, uh, you know, do a few other things in here too. Uh, so it's basically. In here, you have to change to all dates and run report. Now you see, uh, you know, all the transactions related to that uh, particular product item. As you can see here, you have a, a bill means you bought it, right? 100 quantities, and then you sold it. So when you sold it, you create a sales receipt or invoice, or you know, have a sales return. You create a refund, or you know, or credit memo, uh, and like this and uh, like this right bill so it will basically uh, whatever you see in here it has to come from uh, you know all these uh, uh, customers type or vendors type 
And if you see journal entry, you don't see journal entry in here, but you may see journal entry on, you can write journal entry directly to your fix, your uh, your inventory asset account, right? That's when it's going to be off. So you never want to write journal entry, anything to do with inventory. So no journal entry for inventory, right? Inventory, it's, it's so, you know, if you want to adjust inventory, you have to come down here and do it here. Inventory quantity adjustment. So this is where you, uh, you would do the adjustment. You can do value adjustment, no value adjustment, uh, no dollar adjustment, but just a quantity adjustment. So you technically, uh, it should, uh, if you just follow the uh, proper instruction, like for example, you bought, uh, you bought 100 units and you sold, the difference is, uh, that should be the quantity, right? And then you'll have automatically get asset value and average cost, you know, keep on going like this, right? So you should just follow it, buy it and sell it. This is basically, that's it, that's it. Buy and sell it. And once in a while, if you have some quantity adjustment, like, uh, you know, you shipped uh, 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 more than one and shipped the wrong product and, you know, it could happen if your shipping department is not that good. Uh, or you just wrote a wrong, in, a wrong invoice and someone shipped the wrong part number. And many things can happen. So that's why you need to do physical inventory on a regular basis. You come down here and just print this, you know, inventory, a physical inventory worksheet and do actual count, actual count, and uh, enter all your, uh, you know, purchases, and make sure you have shipped uh, all your uh, invoices, you know, nothing in uh, transit or nothing uh, is on hold, anything like that. Make sure all the invoices and sales packing slips are all clear and stuff, you know, and then you can take the physical inventory. So you, you, you could have many factors involved when you do the uh, inventory quantity adjustment. So once you come down here and then all you have to do is, you know, let's say this, as you can see here, negative here, it can't be negative. So that means if something happened in here. If you haven't, you know, uh, you, you shipped, uh, you know, you, have, you, 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 you create an invoice, it could be wrong, uh, use maybe wrong part number, right? Could be many things. So you got to fix all those and just come up with the new fact, new quantity, let's say it's zero, so it'd be zero, right? It's changing quality. Let's take another one here. Like this, you know, so it should be zero. So now, once you do this, then you have to come up with a place where you want to do adjustments. So in this case, it's a bad example. You have all the negative ones. Somewhere you may have positive too. Uh, normally, you'll have positive and negative, you know. Uh, and if you have over shipment, uh, you, you ship, instead of shipping one, you ship two by your shipping department. Then you'll have, of course, uh, negative, right? And if, if you somebody order five and you just ship, of course, they will call you. Just, you know, your customer will call you. Hey, you know, it's under shipped. So always on the negative side in here. So, you know, for this one, inventory adjustment account. So you have to come up with a way to uh, select one account in here uh, or stay with inventory adjustment account. So this is a good one. Just create inventory adjustment account and use that uh, all the time. So create a new one. So this would be like cost of goods sold or cost of sales. Some place you may see just cost of sales. In this case, in the US, it's cost of goods sold. So this is the inventory value adjustment, inventory adjustment, this inventory adjustment. So this is the one you want to use. Uh, be, just be consistent. Use this all the time. Take physical inventory and use this account if there is up and down of your, uh, 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 you know, inventory stuff, uh, and then you'll be fine. You can save it. See. Okay. So that's about it on this one. Thank you for watching this video. Always visit our website, newkbo.com. Thank you. Bye.